Top 10 Sci-Fi Movies of 2021 With the novel virus, the world has shut down, and sometimes movies are the only escape. Fortunately, 2021 has come up with some great sci-fi movies that either narrate the woes of the current apocalyptic end of human life, or become an escape for us. In this video, we will be listing the top 10 best sci-fi movies of 2021. Stay tuned! Number 10. A Quiet Place Part 2 A Quiet Place Part 2 is the sequel of A Quiet Place in 2018. It was released in theaters exclusively on May 28, 2021. The Abbott Family's tale is continued by director-screenwriter John Krasinski. It shows the first day the Sonic Aliens came. This allowed the famed actor to resume his role as Lee Abbott for a brief moment. But in terms of the narrative, Emily Blunt reprises her role as Evelyn Abbott. Evelyn travels with her newborn baby and two older children, Millicent Simmons Reagan and Noah Jupes Marcus, in search of a new home after their farm becomes uninhabitable. And they ultimately run with Chillian Murphy's Emmett, a friendly buddy who escaped briefly in the film's opening scenes. Emmett, on the other hand, has become distant and glum, and our heroes aren't sure whether they can trust him, but they desperately need his aid nevertheless. The scary sci-fi film was immediately rated fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, receiving positive reviews from reviewers and audiences for the tight script and plot tension. Number 9. Space Sweepers Space Sweepers, also known as Seungryo in Korean, is set in the dystopian year of 2092. A group of space garbage collector sweepers discovered Dorothy, a robot girl who is not only desired by the villainous organization Utz, but may also be utilized as a weapon. The sweepers decide to keep her for ransom since they believe they can profit from their findings, which may not be the best option. Sweepers stars Kim Tae-ri as Captain Jung and Richard Armitage as Sullivan, Utz's Elon Musk-like billionaire. Space Sweepers was released on February 5th and has received a 69% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The plot is original and captivating, and you should definitely check this one out. No! <laughs> Number 8. Justice League Zack Snyder's Justice League is here to save the day on HBO Max if you're searching for some sci-fi superheroes. While reviewers are divided on the film, supporters are delighted with the outcome of the Snyder Cut. The movie runs for just 4 hours and 2 minutes, and has gathered a 71% critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes, while 94% audience rating. The plot is similar to that of the 2017 film. Following Superman's sacrifice in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Bats has gathered a group of his super pals to take on some serious dangers. The film is divided into six segments with an epilogue for easy watching, and the tales of characters like Cyborg and The Flash are expanded out, giving the picture a larger scope and greater significance. According to a reviewer, Jake Wilson, it's really a different film from the earlier Justice League, and a much more cohesive one. Number 7. Godzilla vs. Kong this movie has caused a sensation as many people were excited to watch this and they were not disappointed. On Rotten Tomatoes, Godzilla vs. Kong has a 75% approval rating. The story follows when the Titans have remained inactive in the three years after Godzilla vanquished King Ghidorah. In addition, the Hollow Earth idea mentioned in Godzilla King of Monsters has gained traction, and the Monarch Scientific Organization has been keeping an eye on Kong on Skull Island. However, Godzilla is agitated into assaulting the mysterious Apex cybernetic by someone unknown, and Kong is soon utilized to locate the Hollow Earth's power source. When Godzilla's Kong sense comes in, igniting their old rivalry, these strands converge. Number 6. Stowaway Stowaway is a Netflix sci-fi drama with existential angst. It sends three astronauts to Mars on a two-year mission, only to have their plans thrown off when a stowaway is discovered on board. Zoe Levinson, a medical researcher, is played by Anna Kendrick, while David Kim, the ship's biologist, is played by Daniel Day Kim. Shamir Anderson's Michael Adams, unbeknownst to them, is also on board, but unknowingly and hurt. Unfortunately, whatever caused Adam's dilemma has harmed the ship's life support systems, leaving only three individuals with enough air or they'll all die if the fourth one doesn't go. The issue is who will perform the final spacewalk. On Rotten Tomatoes, Stowaway has a 77% fresh rating, so if you're looking for a sci-fi film that will push you philosophically and make you question what you would do in a life-threatening situation, Stowaway is a good choice. Number 5. 
The Wanting Mayor. The Wanting Mayor, Nicholas Ash Bateman's debut feature film, mixes romance, drama, and sci-fi in a story about two lands, Witherin, which is oppressively hot, and Levithin, which is cold. Witherin's residents would murder to go to Levithin, while Levithin's residents crave and try to steal Witherin's unique horses. Moira, a Witherin lady in a matrilineal line who passes down a literal dream of the world before, is played by Jordan Monaghan. But in addition to having the same vision as her forefathers, Moira has a secret. She meets and falls in love with a criminal named Lawrence, Bateman. On Rotten Tomatoes, The Wanting Mare received an 82% rating and was released in cinemas and on streaming platforms on February 5th, 2021. Number 4. Oxygen with an 88% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, filmmaker Alexander Aja's latest film, Oxygen, is being lauded as a tight, compelling thriller. Liz, Melanie Laurent, wakes up in a cryogenic pod with amnesia, unsure of who she is or where she is. Her sole company is Milo, an AI spoken by Mathieu Amleric, who informs her that the pod's oxygen supplies are rapidly dwindling. Oxygen is a total pandemic thriller since the film focuses on the loss, isolation, and uncertainty of the future. And this emotional sci-fi tale is perfectly performed by Laurent. Number 3. Little Fish Little Fish, which has a 91% Rotten Tomatoes rating, combines romance and drama with science fiction. Director Chad Hartigan's film is set in the not-too-distant future of a Seattle grappling with an outbreak of neuroinflammatory affliction, or NIA a faster and more deadly Alzheimer's-like sickness. Emma and Jude, a couple dealing with the effects of Nia on their relationship and society, are played by Olivia Cook and Jack O'Connell. To put it another way, Little Fish could be the sci-fi picture for you if you're seeking a love tale that's appropriate for these hard times. Number 2. Lapsus Lapsus is a film set in an alternate reality in which Ray Tincelli cares for his ill brother while fighting to make ends meet for both of them. He starts a side business in the quantum trading market, but things with both his human and robot co-workers get problematic. With its sci-fi, the picture combines mystery, drama, and humor, and it's been praised for being original and captivating with a minimal budget. On February 12, 2021, it was released in virtual theaters and on Netflix, and it received a 94% reviewer score on Rotten Tomatoes. It's been nominated for a 2021 Independent Spirit Award for the best first screenplay, and it's worth a watch if you're looking for some indie sci-fi. Number 1. The Mitchells vs. The Machines The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a family-friendly sci-fi adventure that premiered on Netflix on April 30th. The Mitchells, a family on a road trip, are played by Abby Jacobson, Danny McBride, Maya Rudolph, and Michael Rianda, who also directed and co-wrote the script with Jeff Rowe. Unfortunately, their relaxing vacation quickly devolves into a post-apocalyptic battle against a robot uprising. The film's emphasis on technology as a villain places it solidly in sci-fi territory, as the Mitchells, who have put their devices away for a traditional holiday, find themselves embroiled in a cell phone battle. The Mitchells vs. The Machines has a 98% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a wrap for today's video. What is your favorite movie on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.